hello friends welcome to my channel today we will going to learn very interesting laravel package laravel ui core ui version 3 if we set up core ui 3 into the laravel application manually it's take a lots of time but after this tutorial you can save your lots of time and uh, just set up this theme in few minutes using this laravel ui package recently infium labs announced this new package and you can easily set up with just one command and you can install this package for core ui 3 so today i show you how to set up this core ui 3 admin template into the laravel application with this laravel ui core ui package so i have already created one fresh laravel application and you can see here so let's start installing so i going to install this laravel core ui package into the this applications so now composer dependency is installed laravel ui laravel generator helpers and laravel ui core ui so let's clear it first and let's check next step if you want to set up this ui into the laravel 6 you need to install the version 1.0 of the core ui and next step is you can install just core ui theme assets using this command psp artisan ui core ui and if you want to generate full the auth scaffolding with this asset then you need to specify one option dash dash auth so uh, let's set up assets only first but uh, before this command i want to show you something into the code you can see here now no any core ui package installed into the package dot session and into the app dot js only one line of code and included the bootstraps and into the app dot scss file nothing included and also you can see here only one view file available into the view directory welcome dot blade dot php so let's fire this php artisan ui core ui command and let's check you can see here the two files are included into the app dot scs file core ui and all dot min dot scss and also you can see here core ui bundle included into the app dot js file and now let's check packet dot json and you can see here core ui and core ui icons both package included into the dev dependency so uh, next of is we need to install the npm and then we need to fire npm development for the compile these assets and generate into the public file and use it so uh, next command is npm install and npm run dev for the uh, development and npm install and npm run prod for the production but uh, i want to generate all the auth scaffolding so i need to fire this command again uh, let me show you still one file is available into the views so let's now clear the console and fire php artisan ui core ui dash dash auth and let's generate and you can see here core ui scaffolding installed successfully and now we need to fire this command for the compiling the 
assets um, and see here now all the scaffolding of auth are generated into the auth directory inside the views and you can see your basic layout of the dashboard and the theme is set up and basic file are created app.blade header.blade menu.blade and sidebar.blade so this is the basic setup are done so let's fire this npm install and npm run dev command you also fire this command separately but uh, right now i going to fire it simultaneously so installing the npm dependency and uh, compile the assets for the css and js so let's install it so now uh, node dependency installed successfully and also all the assets compiled uh, let's clear this thing and now let's start server again for run this project php artisan so let's refresh the browser and you can see here two buttons now available one for login and second for register so let's open the register screen and see here let's create one user first and you can see here the basic layout now available and you are logged in and basic layout of the theme are ready for the use let's log out first and let's open the login screen with the core ui login successfully let's log out and check the mm, let's check forget password screen so you can see here forget password screen with core ui so basic setup is done with this package and you can easily set up it with few minutes and you can save your lots of time so thank you for watching a video please share your feedback into the comment box and share this video subscribe my channel if not thank you